My guest today is a very talented musician. She's also an award-winning artist. She is extremely passionate about multiple issues across Nigeria, and she's used her platform to talk about those issues. I'm talking about none other than Simi. Hi. Hi, Simi. Hi. I can't explain how excited I am. <laughs> um, this is your first time on The Juice. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. You look great. Thank you. I'm so excited to have you on the show because when we were thinking about like who do we want to have next, yeah. I just thought to myself, Simi is not only, not only you're laughing because you're like, what's she going to say? Um, there's the music, there is the activism, there yeah. is the authenticness to just being who you are you. and being very true to that. So let's talk about like starting up when you first were, you were growing up. I know yeah. that you grew up with your mom yeah. um, and you guys are really close. Yes, we are. Tell me about you guys' relationship. <laughs> well, I'm the only girl she has. Okay. So that's probably why. Yeah. And I'm like her last born. Yeah. Um, so my parents separated when I was about nine years old. Okay. And uh, we, we basically, my brother and I, we grew up with my mom. Yeah. And uh, we, uh, I don't know, I was like, I was, I was always this like really outspoken child. Mm -hmm. So I was, I used to speak my mind to her, so I would like, so we're really close. There was nothing I basically couldn't tell her. I told her about boys I had crushes on. Mm -hmm. You know, if I was upset about something, I would tell her. You know, if I was upset with her, I would tell her. Yeah. You know, so I think that that basically just kind of forged the relationship, you know. Yeah, and you guys have your cute little Twitter back yes. and forth. It's, oh, so, my God. It's she, who put it on social media? Was it you or did she just get on herself? She asked me. <laughs> you opened it and up I made her? a mistake <laughs> and I opened it for her. And she I regret it till this day. She's been trolling you since she then. She always trolls me. Have you blocked her yet? Several times. <laughs> I've blocked her. I've I've snatched her account from her. But I'm yeah. like, you need to stop tweeting. I'm going to like block your account. When you, know, when you block her, how did, how did she find out that you block her? Did she like check I and tell her. <laughs> <laughs> because because the thing is, I, she, the thing is she, she enjoys like, she's. I took some of my personality from her. She's yeah. very like... She's very jovial. She yeah. knows how. She's even more so than me. She's very like she likes to. She's very hype. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes I'm like, you need to calm down, right? She's she's great. I mean, it's just so she, cool yeah, to see the I kind of relationship her. you have with your mom. Now, are you close with your dad? Are you guys still in communication? Um, my dad passed in 2014, wow. March 8th. Yeah, wow. I actually have a song for him on my album. Okay. Yeah, and um, uh, we. I wouldn't say we were like super close, yeah. but we were, um, we had our relationship and I mean, he was great to me. Yeah. It was like, she must, she must does it. Yeah. <laughs> kind yeah. of dad, but um, he was great. What do you think about you wanting to do music before you pass? I think I'm stubborn. Okay. So me doing music, first of all, you know, I didn't necessarily like, I didn't really say, let me ask for permission much. I was like, this is what I'm going to do and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, so, because I know he really wanted me to go and continue school after I finished, like, with my BSc. Yeah. Go and do a master's travel. I'm like, I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. You know, but then he was, he supported me in his own way. You know, mm -hmm. like, he didn't pressure me. He didn't, I didn't feel any, any like, weird pressure, like, like, to not do music. Yeah. And your mom, I know you've been doing music since like 2008. I mean, you've been yes. in the scene for a long time. And you first started off as a gospel artist. Yes. And you love Jesus. I know that. I do. So what made you decide to switch from being a gospel artist? I, I don't want to call it mainstream or to just not sing. It is mainstream. It's yeah, circular. mainstream. Circular music. Yeah. Um, I think that, I can't, I can't remember last time I answered this question. Let me try and remember the answer. No, come and give us I'm a new kidding. answer. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think basically I, I, I had more to say. I wanted mm. to say more. I wanted to be able to express everything I was feeling okay. through my music. Okay. You know, and I didn't because when I was doing gospel, that's what I wanted. And the thing is, I tend to, I tend to follow my heart a lot. It really puts me in trouble. You yeah. know, I'm like, I prayed about it because all I'd known before then was gospel music. So I was like, mm -hmm. man, I don't know. If I do this thing, is it going to be, you know, and I'm like, you know what, God, mm. I'm going to do it. If it doesn't work out, then I know you don't want me to. Mm -hmm. And it worked out. Yeah. That's amazing. Because I know now it's becoming more acceptable for, you know, people to be in the music scene. Yes. But when, before when we first started, it was very, very hard. Yes, it was. What did you say, <laughs> when, you, when you decided to do music full time, what did you envision for yourself? Like, what were you hoping to come out of it? Um, honestly, for me, I remember when I started singing, one of the things I used to, I used to wish that I could I could be, my song would be popular, but nobody will know me. So like a Sia? 
Yes, kind of like okay, that. Okay. But even like worse, like nobody even knew that I'm black. They don't know me. They just know that there's this girl I see me. Why? I didn't like for me. It wasn't I didn't want the fame. Okay. You know, I just wanted I, like I was really just passionate about music. Yeah. I just wanted to sing and put something out there. Yeah. Um, and that's like that was my drive. Mm -hmm. You know, behind that's the drive that was making me sing. So. I just want everybody to hear my songs and just be like, oh, that's a good song. So what has it been like? Um, I've adapted pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, it's been pretty well for my time. <laughs> yes. Political. I've adapted. Yes, but, yeah. but the thing is, you know, I decided that, you know, no matter where I yeah. was or who knew me, or I would always be true to myself. And yeah. whatever growth or whatever learning I was doing, I would stay true to myself. Mm -hmm. It would be at my pace. It would be for myself, mm -hmm. you know, because... I, the sanity is important. You know, I think people, some people mm. get so carried away by the noise sometimes, by the likes, by the, <laughs> the hype. You yeah. forget that you have to take care of yourself. Yeah. You know, so yeah. When you first had your major, I would call it backlash on, you know, how you were dressing or yeah. the fact that people were like, whoa, she shows up online, she's not wearing makeup. How did you deal with that? Like the, the very first onslaught of people just throwing their opinions at you. Let me see. I don't know. I don't remember feeling any. The thing is, eh, see, first of all, mm. I don't just give anybody access to my emotions. Yeah. Not every. It's not everybody that can make me feel bad. Mm -mm. You can say whatever you want. Like for you to make me feel bad, I have to care about you on a certain, like on Got a it. certain level. Yeah. Because if not, you will just kill yourself. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. And the thing is, the funny thing is that me personally, the things that have made me the person that I am today, I feel like the best advice I've gotten is like criticism. Really? Okay. Yes. Like, I actually like when people put. I don't like yes well, which men. Which kind of criticism? That's where I'm. That's yeah. where I'm going. Yeah. I don't like yes men around me because you never go if you have only people that are just yes, yes, yeah, man, yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if your criticism is coming from a bad place, I know you can't. Like, I just know you can tell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I'm telling, if I'm advising you to do something, and I'm saying it just to be like spiteful mm. or to be mean, you'll know. Mm -hmm. Why not stupid? You feel me? Mm. But um. So I just know how to pick out all that. So when I saw people, there were people that, that people actually would DM me. I'm like, I'm not a stylist. I'm not a style fashionista. <laughs> yeah. If you believe me, I would just be wearing t-shirts and jeans. So they would DM me and say what? Oh, see me, I think that maybe you should just be continuing like this, the dumb boy or this. The people that I just knew that whatever they were saying was from a good place. Mm. The people that I knew that maybe you didn't see me, they'll smile with me and mm. they go online. I don't mm. know where you I don't know what your point is or what your game is, mm. but like you say, oh, I just care. But you say something mean that yeah. if they said that to you, you wouldn't I, take it well. Yeah, you can't exactly. even, like, people can't take a lot of stuff in this, right? Yeah, right. You know, but the thing is, I just knew how to, like, cancel all of that. So it never got to me that way. I took the advice that I thought would help me. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is that at that time, we were going through plenty of stylists. Everybody was, because I was under a label at the time, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. okay, we don't like this, we like that. But I'm not going to go out and say, well, it's my stylist that gave me that clue. Of course Do you not. get what I'm saying? It's, so what made you decide to launch Studio Brad? Uh, how was that feeling? Like, Because <laughs> I remember, you know, it's funny, I'm, I'm on, I get to meet Army emails. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got the email before you posted it. And I was going to post it, but then I was like, wait, she hasn't posted it yet. I don't think I'm allowed to, like, break the news, if that's possible. Um, you know, and I remember when I got the email, and I love the Simi Army emails that you send out. Thank you. And I thought to myself, this is a really big move. So how how's it been like for you? It's empowering, you know, like, just... I remember when I was talking to my team, and I was like, I was just so happy. I wasn't in Nigeria when we did that, you mm. know, but sometimes I would have to stay up. Yeah, of course. You know, so that we can coordinate yeah. and everything. And just getting the, even just getting the the design, the logo right, you know, went back and forth and that. And mm. then you guys, how, you know, how are we going to make this work? Because at the end of the day, I want I want something that, this is mine. I'm not just yeah, trying to jump somewhere else where they will cover me again. Yeah. You know, so just having that platform that I can say, this is my baby. Yeah. And finding that name was, ah, I love it. <laughs> Actually, the funny thing is, I was going between Studio Rat and Studio Brat. Okay. Um, so first, they, they were trying to register Studio Rat. I'm like, nah, I don't think you can do that with Nigerians. Because they're going to see you and just start calling you Rat. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Let's just do this. Because I asked me, what do you think? What do you think? Which one? And I'm just, I'm glad. I'm grateful. To What's, what does it mean to own your own label? So does that mean that you're responsible for everything? No. Like okay. I said, I have a team that okay. I work with. So it's like... Is everybody has their own work that they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you mix, you master, you're a sound engineer, yeah. which is so cool. Like, but how did you learn how to do it? On YouTube. You learned on YouTube? Yes. So you just watch YouTube videos? 
Yes. That's crazy. Oh, I know that you mastered Adekunle's gold album. Mixed and mastered. You mixed and mastered. Let me not let me not forget. <laughs> let me not drop more. Let me pick it back pick up and put it on the table. Mixed and mastered. Yes. Um, how did you guys meet? Um, yeah, I mean, he was chasing me all over Facebook and everything. <laughs> <laughs> No, but seriously, um, I think because when I started, when I was doing gospel music, he used to listen to my songs. Okay. You know, he knew my songs, and he did send me. There's this, there's this message he sent me on Facebook that you know I'm gonna show, you know, people your coming children. in the future. Yeah. Like he got your daddy did. Right? Uh -huh. Um. So he just, um, that's how he reached out to me. I, I didn't know him at really? the time. Really? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't respond either. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was the message? Was it like, can I, I know you? I, it's worse. <laughs> it was worse than, can I know you? Crying. But I'm not going to say it, okay. though. First time I ever saw him, I think I was supposed to do a show at Bogo Beery. By okay. that time, I think I wasn't doing gospel anymore. But I was supposed to do a show at Bogo Beery. And he says to me, I'm going to be there. I was like, oh, yeah, sure. You know, come here. And then he came. Okay. And he was like, who's this skinny boy? <laughs> I remember they couldn't used to be skinny because he came on moments when he was still a graphics designer and yeah, he was but skinny. My God has done things. Hallelujah. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was the first time I ever met him. And then, you know, over the years, we were friends mm. at first. And then. Do you know he wanted to be an artist, like a musician then? Yeah, but the thing is, when I first met him, I just knew my skin of Photoshop. Yeah. I didn't know, as in, I didn't really, the music part of him was like, you know how all those would I would just come and tell you, see, well, I used to be in the choir in secondary school. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, that yeah. Stuff. So I didn't know that he was like doing music seriously like yeah. that. You know, but then, because he was in the band with his best friend, mm -hmm. the bridge. Okay. So he used to write all these songs. Yeah. You know, and he was really passionate. They had videos. At, this is movie he did by the railroad. I don't know why, but yeah. So you guys have been together for a long time? We met in 2000 and... I'm counting the year down. I think 13. 2013. Yes. What's it like being married to like a musician? I don't see it that way, to be okay. honest. You know, because we didn't meet as... Okay, well, he met me as a musician. <laughs> he was a musician. Like, that was my... He was just this really cool guy. He was yeah. just this really nice guy. Who had, he had like... He had like a lot of dreams. He was like mm. very bright and everything. But it wasn't like, oh, music, make music. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I think it was just God's hand that made it like turn out. Because, mm -hmm. oh, these two musicians that are, that are married to each other. It's yeah. Not, yeah. So, no, everybody, everyone was shocked when you guys got married at the beginning of the year. Because yeah. people really thought that you were going to marry Faust. Like, they were on, they were ready to die was, on the line. That was so funny. That, I still get people in my comments like, I still wish she was false, but it's okay, Sha. I still love you. <laughs> what do you, I mean, definitely when you do a song with an artist and you had yes. Soldier and that was a huge hit, yeah. people people fall in love with the vibe. Yes. Um, <laughs> how, how was it awkward dealing with that at any point of time, you know, and how, what's the relationship between you, Adekunle, and Files? Um, At that time, only Files and I would like, Adekunle and Files weren't friends. Okay. Right? I don't call him Adikun, so that was weird. Okay, you call him Kuyan. <laughs> Kuyan Files weren't friends at yeah. all. Um, but Files and I, we had a rapport. Yeah. That was funny. It's hilarious. As heck, you know. Yeah. Like, he's so cool. And we just got along. I don't really have a lot of friends in the industry. Mm -hmm. I don't mingle much, right? But me and him, we just got along like from Jump, right? Yeah. And, and we got in the studio. Funny thing is, um, I think when I did Jump Question, he reached out. He sent me. He's like, oh, I did a remix for the song. I was like, this is wow, pretty dope, cool. right? And that's how we did Jam Question. I'm like, this is really sick. And yeah. then we did the video for the remix instead. Mm -hmm. And then we um, got in the studio. I was like, we actually recorded Soldier. Mm -hmm. So that's when I, Soldier was my song. Yeah. And then he was like, I said, I'm not releasing this song anytime soon. He's like, okay, let me, let it be my song. Let me release it. I was like, okay, fine. So he released the song. And we're like, oh, they have so much chemistry. <laughs> And funny thing is that most of the songs we're doing are like really goofy. My baby, yeah. Yeah, yeah, question. Yeah. And he said, it's my genocide. We're really goofy. It's like, mm. we're not trying to be overly sexy yeah. or sexual or anything. We were just like vibing and everything. And people were attracted to it. That's it. Nigerians just want something that they can They love love. To. You know, exactly. Yeah. You know, and they said that we're this. We never said once mm. that we were dating. Mm. You know, by the end of the day, it was selling the music. Mm. So we're not out like it. But the thing is, I, um, I was in a relationship. You know, at the time, so like I definitely was carrying my man along. Like, yeah, you cool? 
Is this cool? But he just he knew that that was the game. Okay. That was the thing. So it was. I mean, it was cute. But now they're closer. They're closer than I like. Yeah. They don't even talk to me. Like, <laughs> they well, cut you off in the mix. Yeah. It's like nobody hangs with me anymore because like your friends now. Is this how it works? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But yeah, it's cool. What has changed since you got married? Like, has yeah. you, what's changed about your life? <laughs> Let me see. I think it's more the family. Mm. You know, you like now you're part of a different family. I'm talking extended now. Yeah, gotcha. You know, and then you have to be more conscious and deliberate about that. But besides that, it's pretty much the same. You have to be more conscious and deliberate about... Like, you know, before... See, your boyfriend's mom is different from your husband's mom. Ah. Feel me. Got it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the things that you have to... That's like your mom now. Yeah. You know, so the things that you have True. to adapt to and just, you know, but like... Like his mom is incredible, so yeah, it's like awesome. easy. Like there's no, I don't feel like who oh, my life has drastically become. It's something yeah, different. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like it's all great. Like I moved houses and mm. that's it. That's it. Um, if you could collaborate with anyone, who else would you like to collaborate with? Rihanna, Ooh. Ed Sheeran. Um, I'm surprised about the Rihanna. I love her. I love her. I love her vibe. I'm a huge fan. I love her vibe, but I actually love her music. Really? I love her voice. I'm actually a fan of her music. That's like, so interesting. Yeah. Before we go, um, I want to talk about <laughs> the movie you were in with Kulia Falaya's film. Yeah. Are you going to be doing more acting? What? <laughs> <laughs> the AKA no. What was it no, like? No, it's not. Like, as long as it's like, like, you know, far between. Did I say that right? It's not too much. Okay. Then I think I'll be fine, like, cause I'm, I'm a musician, I'm a singer, yeah. I'm a writer, I'm a, like, you know, I don't, but like, it was, it was interesting, it was yeah. exciting to do that, cause it was different for me, uh -huh. you know. But if I had to do that back to back constantly, I think that it would wear me out. Yeah, girl, it's a <laughs> completely different thing for music. Yeah, I want to find out if your life was a hashtag, what would it be? Spunk. Spunk. Yeah. What does that mean? I don't even know. You just man. made it up. No, it's like spunky. Yeah, like, like, I just feel like the... I know what you mean. Yeah, it's like... An, it's an emotion, it's not a... Yes, yeah, exactly. It's emotion, like, spunk. Yes, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, Okay. All right, so I have a game that I want us to play. Mm. I want to throw some words and I just want you to kind of, like, freestyle with it. Sing. You know, just like, you could rap, you could... Oh, my God. Just, it's in your easy words. Like, okay, so um, the first one is Mr. and Mrs. Gold. Dum, <laughs> dum, Shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Go. Together they go, go. No means no. No means no. If she say go, make you go. <laughs> you know what? At the end of this, you have to record one of these songs. I can't tell you for a fact. Okay, love. Baby, you know I love you. And I will place no one above you. <laughs> it's so weird because hearing you like sing in person, it's I have goosebumps. Okay, and the last one, Nigeria. Mm, okay. Here's a song for Nigeria. I hope God stretches his hands to heal ya. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Thank you so much to me. Thank you. Which song are you recording from those ones? Can, do I, and then can I get a shout out credit? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for sitting down and Thank talking you. to me. And just like, Thanks for having me. You know. All right. That is my interview today with Simi, multi-talented musician. Hope you enjoyed this. Make sure that you comment down below and let me know who you want to see on the next episode of The Juice. My name is Malali. I'll see you guys later.